Hello guys, and today we're going to to do Udor Flame Leviathan 25 man solo. Um, I know there's some videos uh, on YouTube, for example, on how to do it, but they're very, very uh, unstructured and not much information is given out to the people that are not really familiar with uh, Uduar in general and uh, s uh, going so well, at least for now it's taking some uh, good amount of time uh, so the, the the faster the better and the more you know the quicker you go you're gonna get so uh, first of all uh, there's some myths about how to start uh, the, 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 the event I'm gonna show you now so I switch back to 25 man and I'm going to go inside and I'm going to turn on the music uh, of the game because it's more convenient there we go okay so there are two ways to start, uh, to start uh, the event uh, however, uh, one of them is really bad. If, if you go to, to Norganon and if you click here, it's going to activate the hard mode right away. So this is not something that we want at, at this point. We want to do it as quickly as possible. If you activate the hard mode here, it means that there are four beacons with these lights and you need to go and destroy them with the catapults before you go um, uh, and try the, try the boss because for each each pillar up he receives 40% health and that's way too much to sow so instead we can uh, we can speak with uh, Bram and he's going to just let us in with with the normal mode so m my plan here is just to go through through these parts and then uh, and then just engage the boss I'm not quite sure about one moment of the fight, be it's, it's just bec uh, before I pull him um, because I'm going to need a couple of um, a couple of demolishers, uh, three or four, to, to defeat him alone, so uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to Charles click uh, we're ready. Okay. Um, uh, for for sowing this, we're going to choose between the three vehicles we can get. We're going to choose the demolisher because of, uh, okay, of let's move on. this get skill. I'll speak to you from here via the radio. Okay, if uh, I might go to repair or just change the demolisher or even die once and just and then just redo it uh, it's not going to uh, to be good for the unbroken achievement but I suggest if you want to do the unbroken achievement just to go for um, for some party Yeah, we can usually, in order to spawn, uh, to stop the spawning of these uh, iron dwarfs, we need to go and uh, kill the pillars, the small ones, but I'm not going to do that now. Oh, the big guy. I use one period, I'm going to just recharge and just use another uh, demolisher. And don't worry, uh, the demolishers in every vehicle in World of Warcraft is going to scale the item level. These guys, uh, you see, it's almost 7 million HP and it used to be something around a couple hundred thousand back in the day. So this is why we can, we can actually sow such an event in present days. Okay. Uh, Halfway there. I'm just going to mass them more. The idea behind these skills is that the first one is just a simple attack. The second one, you curl up uh, a curl barrel, 
and it stacks up to 10 times that it uses charges. I've used two of them at the moment, so I need to recharge two more. Uh, these are the flying things here. I can actually show you how to do it later. Let's do it to the guys. Okay, I've decided. I'll just use. I, I will just pull my barrels, and I'll just change the mode for later. Okay, I'll use one on this guy. the last guys that are coming in so this these are the guys that we need to kill and the boss will come I'll pull the, the big ones uh, last because I need to, need to focus more on them Now in Pandaria, it's possible to solve the Ulu or instance. So it's it's been subject, more of a subject lately on how to solve the the, the, the boss here. I know that the first souls have been done uh, on um, Cataclysm times, but only by really really powerful dead knights and uh, paladins. So not something that we can do every day. At least I didn't do it. I didn't play much in Cataclysm, but still I wasn't able, I'm pretty sure I wasn't able to solve it all. So now I have uh, plenty of stuff to find here. I'm collecting fragments uh, for, for the legendary for Valonir. And I'm also uh, getting some transmog gear and trying to get uh, the mount from uh, Luxeron, Mineral's head. And a couple of other things, some enchanting recipes, which are like, uh, which are epic here. Okay, this is the last guy and the boss will come afterwards. I will run back and see if I can, um, if I can actually um, get him to reset so I can um, do it without dying. So it, it will be fine. Uh, I'll be drawing attention on some of the dwarves here, but that's fine. I took the KHP so I can sell them uh, with one hit and everything, even with my character out of the vehicle. Let's try to escape him. He's not going to chase me up to here. I think this is this is where we, he, we, he draws the line. So he, he should be resetting anytime soon now. Let's see if I'm going to survive it. If not, I'm just going to die. Come back here and uh, I think we'll be fine. So I can now I'll have plenty of vehicles to place and do my thing to kill him. Oh, in the meantime. Okay, he killed my vehicle and he, he reset it now, you see. I'll just kill these guys uh, manually. Yes, because I can. Right, okay. It's 
too far away. Right. Oh, they are attacking the demolishers, so in general I shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be wasting too much time on this. Because the demolisher without anyone in is only at 300 uh, k HP. Uh, it's not shown here because it's too big, but... Okay, I'll place one demolisher here. Then I'll get to a second one. And I'll place it... Because it's not going to be enough for one, he's going to kill it, so I need to jump into the second one. But not too close, because he's doing AoE and he's going to break it uh, very easily. Okay. I'm going for the second one, for the third one now. I can uh, usually do it with three, but uh, just in case I'll place four. Just because, because I can. And I have enough. This guy needs to die uh, now. I'm going to place it around here. And the next one here. Okay. Got the attention of some of the dwarves. I'll just put it here. I'll kill them. And I'll go for the for the last one. Not going to use any demolish uh, any siege uh, engines or um, uh, or some of the choppers. I'll just use demolishers. Although transi transition between this one and this one might kill me because he's really hitting for a uh, very hard. Work. Okay, there we go. I'm going to take the, the last demolisher and I'll place it. I'm hmm, actually place it, I'm gonna place it here. But then it doesn't need to be that far away. And I'm going to start with this one. Okay, so, so he's 70 million HP. There we go. I, I think it's um, far far away. So uh, I'm going to start pr uh, start with uh, 10 barrels. Then this is going to be inactive, and I'm going to shoot him with uh, with uh, the hero boulder. So and. Until until the demolisher is dead, and I'm just going to the next one. So let's let's give it a try. I'm sorry for the lag. There is not very modern. Oh, so five, six. You see, it's very decent damage until I get to the ten uh, stacks. Okay, now I have ten seconds before they go with a good damage. In the in the third battle, you see that he's already on 50 something percent. So I need to run up to the, to the second demolition now. There we go. Oh, wow, I jumped to the wrong spot. Oh, that's not good. That's why I wanted to back up. There we go. Hope it doesn't kill this one. And just in case I don't, I don't make it with this one. This is the monster. One, nine, ten, now one, one. Okay. I think I might need to go for the last one, but let's see. There we go. I'm going to bubble just in case here. And I'll jump to this one. And this should go now. There we go. <laughs> well, it wasn't, wasn't as good as I expected it to be, but still a kill. And I think a decent one. So this is, this is how we do it, guys. Uh, Oh, not not uh, not much to say other than just the first time I, I got here, it was really screwed up because I I, I just forgot uh, that I need to activate from Bron Bronze Beard and I just activated from the Titan guy and had to clear all the hard mode uh, uh, towers. But you don't need to do that. You just need to do it the way I did. So it's we, without dying, without anything. So it's uh, everything's good. And we hopefully have a fragment, but we don't. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.